Good morning, children. Today we will continue the chapter caring for others. First, I will briefly explain whatever I have explained in the previous videos, and then I will proceed with the topic dignity of labor. Now, the first is there was a boy named Vikram, and he was living with his parents and grandparents, his grandfather. One day, it was his grandfather's birthday. and they planned to give a surprise birthday party to him and they were waiting for when his grandfather will go for a for an evening walk so as his father uh, grandfather went out of the home they decorated the drawing room well and gave a pleasant surprise to his grandfather his grandfather was very very happy to see that yes they all are taking care of him as because he is old they have not they are not neglecting him the next day he asks vikram that he will take him to a new place and the next day both of them went to an old age home the people the old people who live there due to various reasons it is an a place where people live who are away from their own home their parents, children are away maybe sick or due to any other reasons they come and stay over there so uh, uh, vikram went there and he was very happy to meet with those people then he thought of a plan to bring his friends to in that old age home so next sunday they all their friends along with vikram came to the old age home and they have spent the quality time over there then they have helped and they have shared their views They, they they read newspaper they, someone wrote a letter to their uh, son to his son and while coming back they again met their friend who was helping a girl to cross the road they came to know that the girl was blind now she was blind so uh, vikram's friend was helping her to cross the road so immediate we should also have this sense of responsibility or the caring attitude towards others as because they are not our family members we will not take care of them no we should always take care of the people who are elderly aged and sick now the next part is that he was blind the people who are blind they also can study and write through the braille script it is a system it is made for the people who are blind this system script was invented by louis braille the story ends over here and again the story starts with a boy named sumi where he is also living with his grandfather and here we are learning that how we should take care of the sick people and the old people so his grandfather sumi's grandfather was not well and he took uh, his proper care to make him well he used to give medicine in time uh, put uh, blankets over him in uh, properly use uh, thermometer to measure the body temperature and in this way giving food in proper time and he used to spend more of a spend quality time with the his grandfather in this way his grandfather was feeling uh, that he yes, somebody is there and affectionate that somebody is taking care of him so the any family member who is ill or sick at your home you should spend some of the time with them and the old people also so that they should feel homely and they should also think that yes i am also one of them the next topic is dignity of labor these are the various aspects of our as a human being you should have the sense of responsibility duties towards the society how you should keep take care of your family members because first your family then comes the society from your home the education starts so first you should take care of your family members you should listen to your elders and you should spend time with the elderly people if anybody is sick or not well you should take care of that family member next is dignity of labor we children we should see all the jobs in our society whoever is doing they are having the same status they should have the same equal uh, uh, 
equal what I will tell. They should have the same importance. Suppose a sweeper, he is cleaning, a cleaner, he is cleaning. So they should also have the same dignity what an uh, engineer or a doctor is having. Because no work is superior or inferior. Mahatma Gandhi has given stress and put torch on this proverb that dignity of labor should be there. Every uh, man or woman who are working physically or mentally have the same status in the society. We should always man maintain this thing that no job is superior or inferior to anyone. So we should always follow the, this path of Mahatma Gandhi, what he has told us. And in the sense also as a human being, you should not see yes, he is doing a small job or a farmer who is doing working in the field. He is not up to the mark or he is not having the equal status in the society. So we should neglect them. No, they, all the jobs are having the same respect and you should respect people whatever job he is doing at last he is a human being and as a human being as a human being you should respect others also thank you children